there in this video we are going to discuss one very simple and commonly used css property cursor yet powerful property okay so the cursor property controls what the mouse cursor will look like when it is located over the element in which this property is set okay so uh, you might have noticed that on certain page or on certain websites the cursor looks little bit different right so obviously it is only relevant in browsers and uh, operating systems in which there is a mouse and cursor there are uh, they are very essentially used for ux to convey the idea of certain functionality to the user okay so uh, let's see with example how many variations are there okay so div and let me add one text in paragraph or see a sample text okay so now let me give some class to paragraph class cursor okay so here let me add so right now let me change some color color to white i think it should be list yeah that is fine okay so now what we can do we can uh, write down this html with anchor tag so anchor tag has a default cursor property right but if you are writing this cursor with paragraph then we need to add cursor property so here what we can do cursor first of all let's give the value to pointer okay now if you hover you can see now the cursor is now pointer on sample text right so it is giving an indication to user that this uh, this specific text is pointing to something it might be a link or a pop up it can be anything right so let's see which are the properties the values for cursor the default properties auto so when you hover nothing will happen this is auto cursor okay let's make it default default so default is like this so it is not changing it's a default cursor you can see on any other element right it's a default cursor and next value is none so so when you hover the cursor is disappeared right cursor got disappeared see cursor none so sometimes uh, on uh, some web page or at some point of time you might need to hide this cursor when it is hovered on some specific element so in that case cursor none is useful the next value is context menu okay so let's see how it works let me get reload so it is similar to default okay next possible value is help so now you can see one question mark is there below this cursor default cursor so this help value is possible and useful when you are showing some tool tip like you want user to know that when you hover this text you get some help you will get some tips from this hover effect so in that case this help is useful the next is pointer so pointer is uh, also very useful when you want to point out some text it might be um, linked to any other page external website as well as internal page so this is cursor pointer okay next is progress so 
progress is useful you can see now uh, one round 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 right so progress is useful when uh, some text is loading or uh, you are still waiting for some uh, api details or the response is still not yet loaded in that case you can show that uh, to user that data is still not uh, finished loading uh, loading and it is still in progress so you need to uh, change this property uh, dynamically right so this is wait progress okay the next value is wait so let's see so now you can see the text when you hover this text it will remove that cursor is removed and only this round and round is there right so there is a little bit difference between progress and wait again next value is cell let's see how it looks so now you can see there is a icon the plus icon you can see this is cell cursor cell the next value is cross hair it is similar to cell with little bit different it's a variant of cell you can say right it's a cross hair the next value is text which is useful see so now when you are uh, asking user to copy some text from the web page this cursor text is useful so when you so uh, so see when user over this text it is able to copy right the text is copyable so now this is cursor text similarly it is vertical text it's a variant right so now you can see this is vertical text the cursor is now vertical right so vertical text the next value is alias so you can see now one arrow is there on the top of this pointer that is alias next one is copy so when you hover that there is one additional arrow on the top of this default cursor that is copy next value is move so this is also a very useful value when you want user to uh, show that this text is movable you can copy or you can move this text from this place to this place right so uh, by default it doesn't do anything but if you are using a browser api to drag and drop functionality in that case you can use this css property cursor move okay similarly no drop so when you have no drop see you can't do anything yeah you can copy but in that case you are showing that user it is something something is not right right so in that case you can use no drop similarly you can use not allowed so when you want a user to know that specific operations are not allowed in that case you can use cursor not allowed all scroll okay so let's see now it is similar to move okay you can see that right okay also call resize let's see how it looks so you can see now there is a cursor so this is useful when uh, you want your user to know that this specific text is resizable or specific content or box or section is resizable right so the possible value is call resize okay similarly it is row resize so that was column resize and this is row resize 
the orientation is different. All right. Next value is n resize. So you can see now let me reload and this is vertical resize. So it's n resize. The next value is e resize. So again it will be a change in direction orientation right e resize s resize is also a possible value let it get reload okay. it is similar to the e resize okay similarly w resize is also a possible value so these are all the variants there is not much difference uh, also ns resize but it is dependent on browser if it is uh, supported or not okay so uh, these are the uh, most common useful cursor properties cursor values which are useful in your daily life so uh, it's good to know when you are working with uh, various uh, elements on your web page so make sure you are using correct cursor property all right guys that's all for this video if you are new to my channel please visit my channel there are more than 200 videos and if you go to playlist there are multiple playlists created for css for javascript for wordpress as well so please subscribe to my channel and see you next time around